This video is on systemic juvenile idiopathic arthritis that is called systemic JIA and this is also known as steel disease. At first, what do you mean by JIA, idiopathic arthritis? Idiopathic means the cause is not known and juvenile means the before the age 16 years. When the arthritis of unknown cause occurs before the age of 16, then it is called juvenile idiopathic arthritis. And there are several types of juvenile idiopathic arthritis. The most important number one, the systemic JIA, that is systemic juvenile idiopathic arthritis, and this is also known as steel disease. Number two, oligoarthritis. GIA with oligoarthritis when the joint involvement 4 or less than 4 and polyarthritis when the joint involvement 5 or more than 5. Juvenile rheumatoid arthritis that is rheumatoid arthritis when occurs less than 16 years of age. Number 5 juvenile psoriatic arthritis. The psoriatic arthritis that occurs before 16 years and number six enthesitis related arthritis enthesitis related arthritis okay so these are the types of JIA and today I am going to talk on the number one systemic JIA that is steel disease. What are the features of steel disease or systemic GIA? Here is the triad for easy remembering. You can remember in this way. I follow this triangle. The number one, the fever. The fever is spiky. That means the fever goes up and slow and then goes up and slow. So, so fever comes with a spike pattern then hepatosplenomegaly the most important finding on examination hepatosplenomegaly and number three of course arthritis. So when a patient is less than 16 years comes to you with high grade spiky prolonged fever with arthritis and you find that there is Hepatosplenomegaly. With these three findings, you should suspect this could be a steel disease or systemic GIA. And besides these three findings, there are another three findings. Number one, the rash. Actually, the rash is known as salmon pink rash. Salmon pink rash, very rare. So, you should keep in your mind that this patient may present with rash and then serositis. What do you mean by serositis? Inflammation of serous membrane is called serositis. Here is the box for serositis. Inflammation of serous membrane like pericardium that is called pericarditis. Then plural membrane pruritis that may present with plural effusion, inflammation of joint synovial membrane present with joint effusion that is joint swelling and synovitis that means joint pain. So these are the features of serositis and number three patient have mild to moderate anemia. So these are the features of steel disease. I repeat again number one fever, hepatosplenomegaly, arthritis. And another three salmon pink rash, serositis, and anemia. Now, how will you investigate this patient? Very easy. At first, you will give complete blood count with ESR. From complete blood count, you will find that the hemoglobin level will be very low, and that patient may have leukocytosis, that means total count of WBC may be raised, and ESR will be raised and CRP will be positive and elevated. 
sometimes ESR may be normal. So ESR and CRP sometimes may not correlate with your clinical finding. And most importantly, the autoantibody will be negative. You have to mind it. The autoantibody, of course, will be negative in still disease. What are the autoantibody? Rheumatoid factor, ANCA, and ANA. These three most important autoantibody should be advised, and these tests will be negative. By negative rheumatoid factor, we will exclude the rheumatoid arthritis, and by ANCA, we will exclude the vasculitis, and by ANA, we will exclude the SLE. So, what are the DD of this systemic GIA? There are four di differential diagnoses. Number one, infection, rheumatoid arthritis, vasculitis, and SLE. So, these are the most important differential diagnosis when you are suspecting a patient having systemic GIA or still disease. So, to exclude the differential diagnosis, you have to advise this autoantibody and these autoantibody test will be negative. Now, the how will you treat a patient with still disease? Very easy. At first, the patient education. Patients, as the patient is younger, so patients attendant or patients uh, parents should be advised with appropriate clinical information and the drug treatment will be DMRD and most commonly used DMRD here is methotic jet. Other DMRD uh, can be used here such as sulfasalazine, mycophenolate mofetil and cyclosporine. If DMRD are not effective then you may go for anti-TNF antibody like infliximab and sometimes tocilizumab may be used. What is tocilizumab? Tocilizumab is uh, interleukin 6 inhibitor. This is all about still disease or systemic GIA. Uh, thank you. Thank you for your kind watching.